Hello, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome, Cross Watchers. I hope you are all having an amazing day so far. I am going to be taking a look and seeing what is manifesting for you at this moment. What's going on right now in your situation with you, the person that's on your mind, if any. And what do you need to know and be aware of? So whenever you do come across this reading, it will be the right time for you to see it. As always, take what resonates, leave out the rest. If you're interested in a personal reading, I will leave all of that info in the description box below for you all. And don't forget to follow me on all social media, TikTok, Instagram. I am Spiritually Goldie on all platforms. Okay. Cancer. Um, I'm seeing a campfire. I'm hearing countryside. Um, I'm seeing a lot of... Um, corn <laughs> for one so that something definitely is like more in the rural area countryside i'm seeing the letter l um and then i'm hearing seriously like seriously all right let's get into this silence i'm i'm seeing a conversation that was like brought out of proportion and you lost trust in this person so definitely there's been some silence in the past here um true colors came out true intentions came out and things went silent you stopped talking to this person after this conflict so i'm seeing that you've been looking at this situation like okay the conflict is done the silence is uh, i'm hearing the silence is killing me either you or them so you looked at this person like there was some sort of emotional connection between you two. Um, they they felt the same way that you did. And I'm seeing that you were wanting to grow and develop things into something more serious. And you were not ready to give up. But at the same time, you have, your, you have put some guards up because of um, something that you had seen from this person. Six of Pentacles. It, things were definitely not balanced. There's, I am seeing some third party situation in all of this. Somebody has been giving to more than one person, and you, I'm seeing you call this person out. Like you, you call them out on on the amount that they've been giving you, the energy, time. So I'm hearing you're right. You are right. Whatever you think you saw, whatever it is, like you are right. Storm warning. So red flags. You're seeing now red flags coming from this person. And it kind of looks like um, you see this person texting other people. And you're you're like, seriously, it, like right in front of me. I'm seeing we have the queen of wands. But you're stepping into this queen of wands energy, which I like because... You're regaining your power and your confidence in yourself and you're working on yourself and doing your own thing here. I'm seeing you grab a lot of attention, a lot of people's attention right now, whether you realize it or you don't. Like people are very magnetized to you. People gravitate towards you right now. They're very magnetic, very attractive. Um, I'm hearing opulence. Something about opulence. Uh, okay, well, you see this person like they are struggling in a challenging uh, situation, a home situation as well, struggling, trying to keep something lasting. So relationship, you see them as feeling responsible for keeping something going keeping something lasting and also like a burden you see that this person is now treating a relationship like it is a burden 
but they haven't given up and you haven't given up. But I, I'm seeing that you're doing a lot of thinking. You're trying to figure out ways on how to navigate this situation and how to how to keep things afloat. Okay. You're in your head because you're looking at this situation like it is not what you expected it to be or you feel like things are you're not getting validated. And for some of you, I'm seeing that whatever this person is telling you is like you're not validating it because you're also putting in a lot of effort and a lot of work and they're making it about themselves. And but I see you standing strong, like you're standing strong and it's a struggle, but you're not giving up. Ooh, oh, damn. Somebody has been hiding things from you. And this is why you have your guards up. This person has been hiding things from you and they've been secretive and being slick, thinking they're slick, but storm warning, like you, you know that some, some's not right here with this person. Something is not right. And they may be in a relationship or you're in a relationship with this person. Regardless, I am seeing there's a third party situation involved and you're needing to make a decision. Spirit is asking you to make a head over heart decision at this moment. Like weigh out the pros and cons to the situation and then the truth. Get to the truth. Get to the bottom of things. I see this person right now. They're feeling helpless. Five of uh, pentacles. They feel helpless. They feel um, like they're struggling. Left out in the cold or ignored by you even. Possibly. But. Yeah. Whew, that high priest is there. They are so secretive. Their actions right now is they're observing the situation and they're observing you, but they're also keeping secrets to themselves about another person, woman. Uh, I'm seeing a woman. I'm seeing somebody uh, could be a Pisces, a Cancer, or am I hearing Virgo, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or Virgo? They look at you like... There's some unfinished business here. Something hasn't uh, ended. There's unfinished business with some uh, some sort of truth that has been... Like someone lied. Let's just say some, someone lied here. And there's some unfinished conversation about what really happened. So it's like you guys talked about it and then they avoided the situation or they avoided... They try to avoid it by going silent. But it's like, no, we still need to talk about what happened. Like, it's still not over. You know, this conversation is not over yet. <laughs> and they're being quiet. And they feel burdened by their secrets as well. It's like killing them. We have the chariot reversed in the outcome. Things are not going to move forward with this person. I see you starting over, moving on, because they're not meeting your expectations. Yeah, I'm seeing a blockage. This person acts like they're single. I'm seeing, um, we have the death card. So there is an, I'm seeing an ending that they haven't healed from. They're going to try to focus on themselves and be single. I see when it comes to this person, like, you're also bl blocking this person or being blocked off to this person. I see you eventually making a decision not to move forward with them or not to see them anymore or travel towards them anymore. There could be distance. Plans that don't follow through. But I see you starting over with someone else. Um, it's definitely starting over. I see a few people coming into your life, some from the past, and then you also have some new, but I do see somebody from your past kind of coming back around. 
moving moves packing bags leaving I'm seeing you leaving a situation leaving a home as for this person it's like they end things before you can get to the bottom of it before. but the conversation is not done yet and they know that and it's like they're ending it to avoid any responsibility even though they feel responsible it's like they're trying to avoid the responsibility but just know they know <laughs> they're responsible for what is going on right now and yeah justice justice will be served karma they will get their karma and you will and i'm seeing you will have a fair outcome for yourself here this is this blockage is actually like protection you're being protected from this person so you're going to be you're going to be protected but i'm seeing some sort of travel that like doesn't happen when when it comes to seeing each other um, I'm seeing a new job a transition and I'm seeing you moving into this independent position where you're going to be focusing on yourself and what it is that you do gaining different perspectives and listening more to your logical side. I'm seeing you being more rational about things moving forward and doing more research. I see you doing some research in the future or researching more with who it is, who your partners are or who you're involving yourself with. And more, I'm, it's like skeptical, being more skeptical, skeptical or analytical. And tapping into your intuition more. Some of you are going to be tapping into your intuition more and following those instincts, getting into tarot or learning more about tarot. I'm seeing like another level when it comes to your intuition. I'm seeing your third eye opening. I'm seeing something about Egypt as well. I'm seeing a pyramid. Um, a lot of sand. Uh, somewhere where there's a lot of sand. Somewhere. I'm seeing Africa. As well. So 22 is showing up. We have five. So definitely changes. Number three. There's going to be progress for you moving forward without this person. Like, you're going to do way better without this person moving forward mentally and emotionally. Um, I'm hearing static. Like, the static on TV, this may be a sign. Or this is something that's... I'm seeing something about a TV and, like, static electricity in the future. That will be your guides. So with that being said, this is what I'm gathering. If it resonated, let me know. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, again, if you're interested in personal readings, that info is in the description box. So with that being said, I hope you have an amazing and blessed rest of your day. Bye.